good morning students today we will see some numericals okay based on defects of vision some basic five numericals today we will be solving and later when we are revising the chapter if you are thorough with these five then i will give you some more okay a person with a myopic eye cannot see objects beyond a distance of 1.5 meters okay what would be the power of the corrective lens they have asked the power what would be the power of the corrective lens used to restore proper vision read it again a person with a myopic eye cannot see objects beyond a distance of 1.5 meters what would be the power for the power of the corrective lens which he is going to use so we know that for object at infinity so u is equal to minus infinity okay u is equal to minus infinity for point distance of the defected eye they have given it is 1.5 meters or if you are converting it into centimeters also it is okay so v is equal to minus 150 centimeters meter the lens formula we have studied already do you remember mirror formula and lens formula what is the uh, difference between this one mirror as well as lens in mirror it is plus and in lens it is minus that's the only difference no so lens formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by b minus 1 by u okay 1 by f is equal to 1 by minus 150 minus 1 by u so 1 by minus 150 can be written as minus 1 by 150 plus 1 by infinity is equal to 0 so you will get minus 1 by 150 okay so 1 by f is equal to minus 1 by 150 f is equal to minus 150 centimeters here they are asked to find the power it's a very simple problem power of the corrective lens we know that the formula tells that p is equal to 1 by f no so p is equal to 1 by f so 1 by u we have already found minus 150 so you will get the answer as 0.67 d what is d unit of power is called diopter and okay 0.67 so this 0.67 is minus or plus that you should check this is minus so the negative sign shows that the remedial lens is concave in case it is plus it is convex okay this all so we will know okay second the uh, numerical the far point of a myopic person you have studied two points no near point and far point so the far point of a myopic person is 100 cm calculate the power of a lens required to enable him to see distant objects clearly so f is equal to they have given 100 cm so f is equal to we should put f is equal to minus 100 cm or it can be converted into meter minus 1 meter p formula power p is equal to 1 by focal length so 1 by f is equal to 1 by minus 1 what is the answer minus 1 d diopter so it is minus 1 diopter so it is which lens con k third one a person can see clearly up to 3 meters only it is not he can't see clearly so a person can see clearly up to 3 meters only prescribe the lens for him so that he can see clearly up to 12 meters okay you are going to prescribe now you have become the ophthalmologist no so prescribe the lens for him so that he can see clearly up to 12 meters so u is equal to they have given u is equal to minus 12 meters v is equal to minus 3 meters f you should find 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to so i am putting the values here you will get take calcium minus 1 by 4 or f is equal to minus 4 meter so it is minus 4 so it is clear that it is a concave lens a concave lens of focal length 4 meters don't write here it's minus 4 meters Four meters uh, should be used. Then the fourth number. A person with glasses of power minus two point five d 
It's clear that it is O is E. Myopic or hyperlithopic? Myopic because it is using minus. Is the person far sighted or near sighted? You have the answer with it. What is the far point of the person without glasses? So P is equal to minus 2.5D. So it is concave. And uh, F is equal to, we know the formula, 1 by P is equal to, we are in, uh, putting the values there. Uh, 1 by minus 2.5 is equal to minus 0 0.4 meters or it can also be written as, what? 4 centimeters, minus 4 or plus 4. So U is equal to minus infinity. And V is equal to, we don't know, we are going to find it out. Okay. Uh, formula. 1 by V is equal to 1 by F plus 1 by U. Okay. It's equal to 1 by minus 40 plus 1 by minus infinity. So, 1 by minus 40 minus 1 by infinity, we know it is 0. 0 is equal to minus 1 by 40. So, V is equal to minus 40. 1 by V is equal to minus 1 by 40. So the far point is Q you write as minus 40 or plus 40. We will just write it as 40 centimeters from the eye. Okay. The fifth one is the near point of a person suffering from hypermetropia is 75 centimeters. The near point of a person suffering from hypermetropia is 75 centimeters. Calculate the focal length and power of the lens required to enable him to read the newspaper which is kept. At 25 centimeters from the eye. So he is able to see only at 75 centimeters. But you are keeping the paper at 25 centimeters and asking him to read. Okay. So u is equal to minus 25, d is equal to minus 75. Formula 1 by u is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to minus or 1 by minus 75 minus 1 by minus 25. Take the LCM, you will get. 2 by 75. F is equal to 1 by F is equal to 2 by 75. So F is equal to 75 by 2. Easy to calculate. So plus 37.5 centimeters. So if F is equal to 37.5 centimeters, how will you find out P? P is equal to 1 by F. Power is equal to 1 by 4 by So 1 by F. 100 by so this is in 70 meters. So I have taken it as 100. If it is in meter, we will take it as 1. Okay. So 100 by instead of taking this, it will be easy for us to calculate. So I have taken it as 75 by 2. You will get plus 2.67 D. It means plus no which lens? Convex lens. Okay. Easy problems. So solve all the numericals and we will do this. Okay. So we have completed the first half of this chapter and from the next class we are going to see how this colorful world is, what are the magic world we can see outside with the help of our eyes. Before completing this, uh, I like to speak about uh, the donation. Which donation? Eye donation. Any idea about eye donation? How can we donate eye? See, we used to celebrate uh, World Environment Day in our school, right? First week of uh, June, when you come to school, you know, we used to celebrate. Something else is celebrated in to 25th August to 8th September. Find it out, okay? It is very important that we should have the awareness of eye donation. You have seen many banks. To, uh, for money purpose, if you are going, you will go to FBI, you will go to all the other banks. If you are in need of blood, suddenly if something happens, some surgery and blood is required, they will go to blood bank. Because the blood should suit, no? If a person is, the person needs A positive, he should take A positive only. He can't go with others. So donors, recipients and all of that, no? That you will find, you will study when you are studying about blood. But um, what about eye donation? If you see a person, he is very hungry, you feel that you should help him. What will you do? You will share your food with that person. No. The person is not having money. They need some money. Okay. If you are well off, you can give some amount and ask him to use it. That is also okay. But if 
you see a blind person can you give one eye and uh, help him no it is not possible actually it is illegal we can't do that also any organ donation is illegal when we are alive but after death if i wish to donate my eyes actually god has given no two beautiful eyes so that we can see the whole world there are many people uh, more than some 6 million people are corneal blind you should total blind if you see it is some 32 to 40 million people are there but corneal blind people can get vision if they get the eyes from someone after death so 6 million people without uh, waiting for the eye sad no in that also 60% of uh, the children are uh, below 12 see when we are uh, seeing everything around us and sometimes we are wasting no we are seeing unwanted things and we are wasting our uh, vision but children they are waiting they have registered and they are waiting to get eyes so think on it okay after that if we can donate our eyes it can give vision for four corneal blind people it seems okay four people can see the world through us uh, in case if i wish to donate after my death what should they do people those who are related to me i should write a concern for sister blind and i bear i should register that after my death you can come and collect my eyes and they should get the confirmation from my relatives also after my death they will not be there no so uh, my relatives my kin kids they all will be there they will collect the confirmation that you can take we will see the procedure okay how it can be after death the person's eye should be eyelid should be kept like this close the uh, eyes to the eyelid and should not switch on the fan so fan should be off and the uh, head should be little bit raised and the pillow should be kept and immediately we should give a call to the uh, eye bank team a team from there they will come immediately and uh, within 4 to 6 hours time it should be done we can't wait for 12 hours and if we call no it is not possible to uh, remove our eyes or and it can't be used for transplantation so within 4 hours we should inform the bank they will come from their team and they will remove and they will take it people may feel that if they remove my eyes will my figure become sun plus and i will become not bleed no this phenomenon will not be there they will just remove and they will close the eyes and they will go so it is not at all a problem and it will take some 20 to 30 minutes time it seems for their surgery okay they will just remove and they will go and uh, they will go there and they will evaluate some waiting list i was telling you know if they have already registered and they were waiting for the this one no uh, according to that they will collect the names and they will see to whom it should suit it will suit because blood and all it doesn't matter if i am o positive person it doesn't mean that only o positive person can get this okay donor recipient both can be uh, different it is not necessary that it should be of same blood group now after removing now what they will do they will call that person and they will go for surgery okay now you can see the important things it should be removed in four to six hours the blood bank uh, eye bank team will come the entire procedure will take only some 20 to 30 minutes it will uh, in four hours it should be transplanted it does not cause any disfigurement and if i am donating they will not go and tell that i have donated and uh, my family also will not know to whom they have donated so identities of both the donor and the recipient you know it will be kept confidential any age group can donate usually 2 to 70 okay 2 to 70 uh, that i know they can be used for transplantation if i am having any communicable diseases i will not be able to donate other than that all can donate okay so without communicable disease if people 
will learn um, ready to learn it, they can learn it. So the procedure what I said, if close the eyelid, switch off the fan, raise the head, place the pillow, contact the nearest driver and concern from the king. And the eye band, what they will do, they will collect the eyes, evaluate and they will distribute it to the uh, people those who are in that list. And uh, in case if they are collected, if a person is ready to donate and he is having com some communicable diseases, can he donate? He can also, but it, it will not be used for donating, it will be used for, uh, for some uh, research work. Like some training, people will be there, no? they will be studying about that for that research and training, they will be using that. And what is the difference between ophthalmologist and optometrist finding out? Okay? By seeing 